You gotta know when to hold them and know when to fold them. Know when to walk away and know when to run. Hey gang, it's your host, Brian Rollins, and this is the Dorky, Geeky, Nerdy Trivia Podcast. This week, we thought we'd stave off the dreary cold outside with some card game trivia. We love to play these games, so how well do you know them? We'll deal out three rounds of ten questions each. Be sure to swing by dorkygeekynerdy.com for more rules and resources. Okay, questions are shuffled. Let's play. The Dorky Round Number 1. What game was featured in the film version of Casino Royale? Texas Hold'em. Number two, what is the term for a series of cards with consecutive rank values? A run or sequence. Number three, what's a tray? The three card of any suit. Number four. How many players do you need to play bridge? Four. Two pairs. Number five. What do you call a stake put in by players before being dealt any cards? The ante. Number six. What constitutes being busted in blackjack? A score of 22 or higher. Number seven. Including jokers, how many cards are in a standard deck? Fifty-four. Number eight. What is the highest hand possible in standard poker? A royal flush. Number nine. What's an ace worth in blackjack? One or eleven. Number ten. What constitutes a full house? Three of a kind plus a pair. The geeky round. Number one. What's a natural card? A card that isn't wild. Number two. In the book Casino Royale, what card game is played by James Bond? Baccarat. Number three. What is a mixed deal? A deal done incorrectly, or to make a mistake while dealing. Number four. What is a dead man's hand? Two pair aces and eights, 
all black. Number five, according to legend, who is the aforementioned dead man? Wild Bill Hickok. He was holding those cards when he was shot in the head. Number six. What is the highest score you can have in one hand of cribbage? Twenty-nine. Number seven, in blackjack, the dealer stays on what scores? Seventeen or higher. Number eight, when could you use insurance in blackjack? when the dealer has an ace as their up card. Number nine. Someone watching a game and offering unwanted advice is called what? A kibitzer. Number ten. Which card is the suicide king? The King of Hearts. Okay, we're going to get some more chips. In the meantime, let's take a break for the book of the week. This week, we're talking about A History of Playing Cards by Catherine Perry Hargrove. Most likely invented in the Far East, playing cards arrived in Europe at roughly the same time as paper money and gunpowder, and by the early 11th century, were in widespread use in France. This classic history, never superseded, not only tells the story of playing cards and their manufacture, but also provides the reader with a fascinating overview of heraldry, geography, history, and social and political activities over the past six centuries. You can pick up this book or any other book of the week on our website, dorkygeekynerdy.com slash book. Okay, back to the game. The Nerdy Round Number 1. If your deck has hearts, bells, acorns, and leaves, what kind of deck is it? A German Pack Number 2. In Bridge, what have you got if you're holding a chicane? A hand with no trumps. Number three. What variant of Baccarat is named for the French word for railway? Chemin de Fer. Number four. In cards, what is the talon? It's the undealt part of a deck. Number five, C.S. Forrester's character, Horatio Hornblower, supplemented his income playing what game? Whist. Number six, John Montague is credited with inventing what dish while being a prolific card player? John Montague is the fourth Earl of Sandwich and is created with creating the bread and meat combination that is the hallmark of kids' lunches. 
Number seven, if you're using a single deck of cards, what is the house advantage in blackjack? Zero point one seven percent. That goes up as more decks are added. Number eight. What is heads up poker? A game between just two players. Number nine. Statistically speaking. What are the two worst cards to be dealt in Texas Hold'em? A two and a seven of different suits. Number ten. Before being known as Jacks, what was the name of the lowest rank face card in the deck? They were called knaves, and that's all the cards we have to deal with this week. I hope you had fun. We're about a month away from our one-year anniversary, so stay tuned for something special. In the meantime, here's your clue for next week's episode. What author wrote, "Sleep, those little slices of death, how I loathe them." It's their birthday next week, so we're featuring this person. I'm your host Brian Rollins. Be sure to visit us on our website dorkygeekynerdy.com. And as always, thanks for listening. Is the season to be podcasting. Stay inside with a warm beverage and a hot microphone. If you're interested, Spotify can help you out. They've got a platform that lets you make one, distribute it, and earn money all in one place for free. It's called Spotify for Podcasters, and here's how it works: Spotify for Podcasters lets you record and edit podcasts right from your phone or computer. So you've already got the equipment necessary to start recording today. Then you can distribute your podcast to Spotify, Apple, Google, and everywhere else podcasts are heard. Video podcasts are also available on Spotify. And when you want to take conversations with your fans to the next level, Q and A and polls are an excellent way to get them talking. With Spotify for podcasters, you can earn money in a variety of ways, including ads and podcast subscriptions. Best of all, it's completely free. I switched dorky, geeky, nerdy over to Spotify for podcasters, and I haven't regretted it. The analytics are fantastic, and the new tools for hosting and updating the feed are way more than I could do self-hosting. Now. It's your turn. Head to podcasters.spotify.com and read all about it. Then let me know what you are podcasting all about. Tyler has a problem. He can't inherit his massive family fortune unless he gets married. And when his best friend Glenn proposes, hijinks. And shenanigans ensue. Follow Glenn and Tyler on their world-spanning adventure as they defeat mobsters, an evil stepmother, a rakish brother-in-law, and pirates. No, really, there are pirates. Plus, there's an underground superbase and hockey. The five-book series begins with Glenn and Tyler's honeymoon adventure by J. B. Sanders and narrated by Brian Rollins. Available now on Audible and iTunes. Come for the romance, stay for the hockey.